me. All right, guys, well, I just finished up my dining room table yesterday, edited the video till two in the morning, got that out to you this morning, and got up at five, so I had about three hours sleep, got on the ferry, came out to Salt Spring Island. Why? Because Liam Hoffman is up here teaching an axe-making clinic, so obviously I had to go to that. The guys from North Carolina, what other chance would I have to be taught how to make my own hatchet. Liam tried shipping a bunch of his tools up here, but they got stuck at the border. Typical Canadian border. And so we are kind of in a hurry making a bunch of uh, punches and drifts for this class because they never showed up in the mail. So this is kind of fun. We're learning how to actually make the tools that we then use to make the ax. Make sure it's pretty deep so you can see it quickly when it comes out of the fire. Right now, looking at the yeah, just a bunch of the same thing in the center. Give me the green light, uh, boss. You got the green light. All right. Oh, yeah. Samurai Blacksmith. Starting a new company as soon as I get home. And made in Canada. <laughs> Alright, so just to put this in perspective, so you guys know how crazy these blacksmithing masters are, we started work at 9 o'clock this morning, and it's now 10.55 in the evening, and these guys are still doing heat and pounding like beast mode, okay? And half of these guys are drunk with red hot pieces of steel, tongs, and swinging sledgehammers like crazy people, okay? So, hopefully we're still the end of the trip to the hospital. We're on an island. Like, seriously. Liam's kind of freaking me out.
that down very carefully, but at the same time, very hard. And drive that in. So you just trim it off at a quarter inch. Crowd. Well, guys, that was an awesome weekend. What a blast. So much learning, so much hammering, and I'm pretty pumped that I have forged my own hatchet from scratch. I will admit it's not as big as I hoped it would be. That's what she said. But for its size, it performs phenomenally well. So I now have a ton of, of knowledge and understanding of tool making and forging stuff. And I have very little experience or practice, but I have the confidence now to get out there and start making my own tools. And that pumps me up because uh, this is like the perfect size to teach my boys how to use a hatchet. And then I've got the tools now. I, I made a fuller and got some drifts. And when my boys get a little older, we could forge hatches for each one of them now because I've got all the tools and stuff I need to do it. So I'm super excited about that. If you guys don't know who Liam Hoffman is, be sure to check him out on Instagram. He's also got a YouTube channel, Hoffman Blacksmithy. And he just authored a book. Dude's 21 years old, forged. It's like a beginner's a guide to becoming a blacksmith. So, so if you want to get the information that you need and the confidence that you need to like get out there and just start making your own forge and this book explains the whole process, you can find it on Amazon. Check it out, Forge by Liam Hoffman. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I would love to hear from you down in the comments section. Let me know which tool you think I should try to forge first. I've done an ax, what's next? Thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you so much to the Samurai Brotherhood and until the next video, Samurai Oak.